Hey guys, what is up? My name is Landon and welcome to the Jersey Zone. So today I wanted to do another video in my Jersey History tier list series. Today I'm doing the Edmonton Oilers as you guys can see. If you guys haven't seen any of the other videos in this series, make sure to check them out. I'll leave a link to the playlist in the description down below. But anyways, let's just get right into the tier list here. Okay, so we're into the tier list here and the first jerseys that I want to show you guys aren't actually the inaugural season jerseys. I'll show up the inaugural season jerseys on screen there for you guys. And the reason that I'm not going to put these jerseys in the tier list is because they're pretty much the same thing with just minor changes like the outline of the logo is just a little bit bigger on the jerseys that I'm going to show you guys and it is a lighter blue instead of the darker blue but other than that they're very very similar so I decided not to include them but I still wanted to show you guys there and of course these are the jerseys that they brought over from the WHA although they did slightly change them they basically just changed the colors on the crest and I'll throw up some pictures of the WHA jerseys as well and as you guys can see you can kind of see what the color changes were and everything like that I much prefer the newer logo or the NHL logo personally just because because of the fact that it is a lot easier to read especially on the home jerseys or the white jerseys it is so hard to read that blue text on the orange background I think it's just really not good for the eyes there so I much prefer these just pure white background with the blue text I think it looks a little bit nicer but anyways let's get into the jerseys that I actually have on the tier list here so starting off with the 1981 to 1994 home jersey here uh, these jerseys they obviously had for a really long time and I can see why I think they are really nice honestly they're just extremely classic of course uh, these are like the Gretzky era jerseys as well so everybody knows them pretty much but I just really like them I think they're just very nice I do like the shade of blue and everything like that and I do really like this home jersey a lot I'm gonna put it into the A tier now for the away jersey or the blue jersey I do still like it a decent amount but I'm not a fan of just I feel like the orange is too bright for how much orange there is I think on the first jersey there the orange like is just a really nice accent color and everything like that and it's used very minimally especially on the shoulder yoke as well just a below the shoulder yoke it's outlined in the orange I like that part a lot about the home jersey but on the away jersey here the shoulder yoke being orange is just a little bit too much in my opinion so for that reason I am still going to put it into the A tier but I am going to put it probably it's going to be on the little bit of the lower side of the A tier personally I do still think it is a nice looking jersey but I think just the orange is a little bit too much for me and then for the 1995 to 1996 season they did go back to a little bit more of a darker blue once again I'm not going to show you guys that jersey just because of the fact that it's so so similar to these jerseys right here but we can move on to their 1996 to 1997 home jersey here so they went to a little bit more of a darker blue once again and then they added the copper instead of the orange which I actually do like the copper a good amount and I also do really like the shoulder patches on these jerseys here it is like that oil worker and I I think that's a neat little touch for sure now that being said for these jerseys here for me I do like these jerseys a lot but the thing is is I feel like they aren't special or anything like that they don't really stand out to me I just like see them and I go yeah that's a nice looking jersey but I really don't have like a, a high emotion for them or anything like that I don't super like them I don't super dislike them I just kind of go it's fairly nice so I am going to put this one into the B tier I do think for the 1996 to 2007 away jersey here I do like that jersey I think just a little bit more I think I like it a little bit more than the white so I'm going to put it just right ahead of that jersey there and then this jersey here is the 1997 until 2007 home jersey and as you guys can see the difference in between the the 1986 jersey and the 1997 jersey is just that there's no shoulder yoke they just remove the shoulder yoke and majority of the time I actually prefer shoulder yoke personally but for this jersey here I actually think I like it just a little bit better without I think it just works a little bit nicer a little bit more clean I think the shoulder yoke might just be a little bit too much on the previous jersey just because of how much striping there is and it already has the shoulder patches and everything like that I feel like it maybe doesn't need that shoulder yoke so for this jersey here I'm gonna put it just slightly ahead of the away jersey just because I do actually tend to like white jerseys just a little bit more but for these jerseys right here I would all just say that they're fine to me I, I like them they're not anything too special but I do think they're decently nice looking jerseys but they just don't end up breaking that A tier for me personally. Now moving on to the 2001 to 2007 third jersey here or the oil drop jersey. Obviously I love this jersey a lot. I'm wearing it right now as you guys can see. Uh, it is uh, probably, yeah I'd probably say this is my favorite Oilers jersey personally. I do really want them to bring this jersey back. I think it's super nice. The kind of sparkling on the logo is sweet as well. It is definitely one of those jerseys that I wish that they would bring back in an Adidas at some point here. It was kind of one that I wanted them to go to for the reverse retro unfortunately they did not do that but yeah I just think it's really nice I love the silver or the gray on the striping and the arms and everything like that and 
I mean, it is something different. The Oilers don't really change a whole lot with their jerseys, as you guys can see. I mean, they changed the color, but the logo has stayed the same for pretty much their entire run. This is the only time that they actually changed it. So I do like that it is something different. And I just do think it is a nice looking jersey. I, it's really sharp in my opinion. Now let's move on to their 2003 Heritage Classic jersey. This is basically just a throwback to their 1981 to 1994 home jersey. It's very, very similar. I think the colors just change just very slightly. It's just a little bit more of a darker blue. And I kind of have the same feelings that I do have for the 1981 jersey. So I'm going to put them, uh, I'll put it just slightly ahead of the 1981 jerseys just because of the fact that I think I like the blue on the Heritage Classic just a little bit more just because I think the blue might be just a little bit too bright or at least it looks a little bit too bright in this picture. Maybe it doesn't look a little bit too bright in person. I don't have those 1981 jerseys obviously so I can't really tell. It's a little bit harder to compare but I don't know. I mean they're the same jersey pretty much so who cares? <laughs> But let's move on to their 2007 to 2009 home jersey. And this jersey actually ended up becoming a third in the 2009 to 2010 season. And it stayed that way all the way up until 2012. This jersey here, it's fine. It's a little bit worse than the CCM or the previous generation jerseys, in my opinion. I really don't mind the piping itself. I don't really think that's bad. But I just, uh, personally for me, I like striping on the bottom. I think most of the time, if there's no striping or just nothing at the bottom, it just looks a little bit too bland for my taste personally. But overall, I just think it's just a little bit worse than those previous generation jerseys. So for the home jersey, I'll throw it into that category. Now, one thing that I kind of find weird about these jerseys personally is the striping on the arm. I kind of like it, but I kind of don't like how it's utilized. I like the idea of it because some teams have done this before, but basically the striping around the arm, it looks like it basically cuts off just in time for the numbers. So like the numbers can be in place of the striping there. And I like that idea personally, but it doesn't work here because it's not actually doing that. That's not the purpose of the striping. Just for some reason, it just cuts off and that's all it does. So I think personally, I would like it a little bit more if the numbers either move down a little bit further or the striping moved up either way, just so that the numbers itself went in place of the middle of the striping. I think that would look just a little bit nicer personally. Cause right now for me, it looks like it just randomly cuts off and there's no really rhyme or reason to it. But let's move on to the 2007 to 2011 away jersey. And for me, I actually like the home jersey a little bit better on this one here. So once again, I'm going to throw it right behind that jersey, the home jersey there. Like I said, I don't really hate these jerseys. They're just fine to me. They're probably closer to the C tier, uh, uh, if anything. But it's not like I have a strong dislike towards them. Now let's move on to their 2008 to 2009 third jersey, which then became their home jersey in the 2009 season. Once again, swapping with this jersey here. And this was the home jersey all the way up until 2017. So they were this jersey for quite a while there and I like this jersey once again it is obviously a throwback to their previous jerseys like the Heritage Classic was and once again same compliments and same complaints that I have with that previous jersey is that I like the blue a lot. I do like that royal blue. I think it is really nice. Just maybe a little bit too much yellow for me. I am going to end up throwing it ahead of that previous version there, uh, but not ahead of these uh, home jerseys right here. And then for their 2013 to 2017 away jersey, once again, it is a throwback to their previous jerseys. So I'm going to throw it right up here with the other ones. I'll throw it to the newest one because sure, why not? Or the highest ranked one. Once again, it's the same jerseys as the other ones. So I don't have anything new to say. I just like it. And now we have their 2015 to 2017 third jerseys which they also wore these jerseys to the 2016 heritage classic game which they played the winnipeg jets in that game and these jerseys i'm very torn on because i like the numbers on the shoulders i think that's neat and i like the blue it's just too much orange for me so like half of me is wanting to put this in the c tier because i really don't like that orange like quite badly i'm not a fan of it but then the other half of me is like well it's not that bad. <laughs> so I'm really not too sure where I actually want this jersey. I think for me, I'm going to put it at the... I think I'll put it into the C tier, but it is a very high C. It's just... I, I don't know. It's just too much orange. And speaking of orange, we have their 2017 to present home jerseys. And yeah, I'm not a fan of these jerseys at all. They are getting rid of these jerseys, apparently. Uh, as far as I know, they're going to their alternate jersey, which I'll get to in a little bit here, obviously. But apparently for the next season, they will be using that alternate jersey as a home jersey, which they pretty much did this season anyways. They wore that alternate jersey like all the time this season. So I'm not 100% sure if they're going to get rid of this one or they're just going to make it a third jersey. Not too sure. But either way, 
I don't really care because I'm not a huge fan of it personally. Uh, I'm going to throw it into the C tier. It's quite close to being in the D tier for me personally. I really don't like it at all. And now we can move on to their away jerseys. So their 2017 to present away jerseys. These ones are fine to me. Um, I don't have any complaints for them. I don't really have much to say positively. It's just they're fine. I am going to put them just right here, I guess. I, I really just think they're middle of the pack. They're not bad. They're just okay. And then for their 40th anniversary for their 2018-2019 season, uh, once again, they went back to the Royal Blue, which is once again, basically the same as these jerseys right here. So I'll do the same that I did with that Reebok jersey. I'll just put the newest one as the highest one. It is a nice jersey. I do wish that they went to this one as their home jersey personally. And I'll kind of talk about the alternate in a little bit here. But this jersey, I wish that they went to as their home and kept this one as their away uh, I think that would look really nice. And now on to their 2019 to present alternate jersey, which like I said, they're making into their home jersey next year. This one, I'm also not a huge fan of. I really, I don't like it. I'm not a fan of the two-tone. Most two-tone jerseys, I'm not really a huge fan of. Uh, and this one here, I really don't like it at all, actually. I know some Oilers fans do, and I know a couple of jersey collectors do like this jersey. I really don't, like not really at all. I'm honestly debating if I want to put this into the D category. That is how much I dislike this jersey. It's just really not for me. Um, I think I will. I think I will put it into the D category. I really just don't like it. And I'm not 100% sure why. I don't know if it's just because of the fact that it's a two-tone jersey. I don't know if it's because of the orange itself. I don't know if it's because of the blue. Uh, I really just not really quite sure why it doesn't click for me. It just really doesn't. I just really am not a fan of it. But finally, we can go on to the reverse retro here. And I like the reverse retro quite a bit, actually. I think when it came out, I'm not sure if I bashed it at all. I think I just said it was bland. I think that was the only thing that I was saying about it because I do still feel that way. As a reverse retro, I don't think it's anything overly special. I'm pretty sure I did put it in the lower categories on my uh, tier list video there. When the reverse retros first came out, I think I put it down quite low, but that was more just because of the fact that it wasn't anything crazy or anything special. And with the reverse retros, that's what I wanted. I wanted weird and wacky and everything like that, like Arizona did, like Anaheim did. Those kind of jerseys is what I wanted. So when this one came out, I was just slightly underwhelmed. I wanted the reverse retro of the oil drop personally, but overall, I do think it's a really nice jersey. I actually kind of like it a lot. Like the more that I look at it and the more that I saw it in games this year, the more I liked it. And honestly, I'm going to put it into the A tier. I think personally, if the Oilers went to this jersey here, uh, the reverse retro, maybe use that as a third jersey and then went with their 40th anniversary as a home jersey and kept their away jersey. That is the preferred kind of Oilers lineup that I would want. I think that would look really nice, but unfortunately that is not the way that they're going, uh, which is a little bit sad for myself, but I can kind of understand it. They do really like this uh, alternate jersey, which like I said, not really too sure why, but I really am. I'm not a huge fan of it at all. And yeah, there's my tier list for you guys there. So as you guys can see, I'm kind of just iffy on the uh, jersey history for the Edmonton Oilers. I mean, all of these A tiers there are basically the same jersey. So I basically only have two jerseys in the A tier for the Edmonton Oilers, but really honestly like most of these jerseys i do think are fine to good like i was saying these mid 2000s jerseys i do kind of like but i just don't have anything like screaming out at me wanting me to put them into the a tier and then i'm not obviously a fan of the orange jerseys here and yeah i do have that one d tier but overall i think it's just a fine jersey history i do wish they kind of went out of their comfort zone a little bit more and did something more like the oil drop jersey i do really like that uh, but they tend to keep it kind of the same most of the time so yeah that was my tier list there let me know what you guys think in the comments down below do you guys agree with me do you not why why not let me know and if you guys like this video make sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe to the channel and also make sure to follow me on my instagram and my twitter at the jersey zone yt on instagram and at the jersey zone on twitter links are in the description down below like i said that's it for me thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys next time